Hey friends, today I want to give you a heads up on a planetary influence that's in range from October 11th to December 8th that we call Venus Out of Bounds. Venus is in this condition only once or twice a year and marks a unique time in Venus's cycle. Well, let's chat and I'll tell you more. Out of bounds is a term that was coined in the 1980s that relates to a planet's declination, which is a way of measuring a planet's position in a different way from what you're used to seeing in the center of a birth chart wheel. I won't get into the technical details today, but it's possible to find each planet's declination using an astrology program. Today I just want to tell you how to consciously engage with this Venus out of bounds cycle that we're in right now. When a planet's out of bounds, it seems to have a bit more freedom of expression and also intensity. That planet's function in your birth chart, or as a transiting influence, can be experienced as extreme or outside the box. You'll be able to observe this yourself by tuning into the topics or agendas that that planet represents. Venus relates to experiences like connection, rapport, love, beauty, and aesthetics. Venus in our birth chart tells us about our likes and our dislikes, the qualities we're attracted to in others, and how we attract. When Venus is in an out of bounds state, it has fewer inhibitions in these realms. This means Venus is full of creative opportunities for artistic pursuits or beautification projects, whether that means creating a literal art project or beautifying an outdoor space or indoor space, or even putting some attention into your own appearance. If that word beauty brings up some stuff for you, remember that beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and Venus isn't really particular about what your beauty standard is or how you measure it. Venus just wants you to inject a little bit of beauty into your life according to your own guidelines in order to warm your heart and increase your feeling of connection with others and the world around you. As one component of our desire nature, the part that has to do with attraction and aversion, Venus can really steer us in specific directions when it's activated. When we're really attracted to someone or something, that thing starts to command our attention and takes up room in our psyche, and maybe even our heart. Mercury gets involved as we start to think about that someone or something repetitively throughout the day. Then Mercury may work in tandem with Mars to figure out ways to get that thing, and then Mars helps us pursue it or take action to experience more of it. So as a key player in this process, Venus plays a powerful role in the direction our life takes. While it's clearly visible in our day-to-day -day experience, in this function I just described, Venus can impact our life in powerful ways in the long term. When Venus is out of bounds, restraints are temporarily lifted, so this cycle often correlates with a time when our attractions are unchecked. If we normally have a well-functioning Saturn, which could introduce healthy restraint and prudence at best, we have a bit less access to that function during this Venus out of bounds time period. Maybe we see something we're attracted to, and we don't automatically think as much about whether that thing is good for us, whether it's a good idea, or how that thing or person might impact us in the long term. We just want that thing in the moment. And then Venus recruits Mercury and Mars to help us get it. Sometimes, people with natal Venus out of bounds make relationship choices that leave the rest of us scratching our heads, especially when they find themselves embroiled in massively complex soap opera style personal dramas that seem to be of their own making. While Venus is transiting out of bounds, like it is now, we all get access to a little taste of that in some way even if we don't have Venus out of bounds in our natal chart, and this is especially the case if Venus is making important aspects to our natal chart. This Venus out of bounds period starts off with Venus at 4 degrees Sagittarius and then moves into Capricorn, wrapping up at 24 degrees Capricorn, so it's going to cover a lot of ground. This will be most prominent for those of you who have your natal Venus in one of those two signs, but you can also consider the other aspects Venus is making and pay attention to those houses in your chart as well. When Venus comes out of this extreme part of its cycle, if we've taken action to pursue our attractions, we might be surprised by the coming back down to Earth quality once Venus moves out of its peak. We might look back and wonder what we were thinking and how we let things get so out of control before reason kicked in. So, my advice for you during this long Venus out of bounds period, which remember goes from October 11th all the way through December 8th, is to give yourself space to feel into and enjoy the creative ex exploration that Venus is drawing you into. But exercise a little patience if you're feeling drawn to pursue someone or something new, especially if that person or thing feels really out of character for you or well outside your own box. I'm not saying that this person or thing is automatically a bad idea just because Venus is out of bounds, but if this is a brand new attraction, slow yourself down and draw out the courtship. Hold off on making more of a commitment or going all in until at least late December. And then check in. If you're still in the same mindset, well then it should be safe to take the next step. 
At the same time, you want to hold space for the potential that you might see things a little differently by the end of December, and you may find you'll make a different choice then. If you've been patient and move slowly, you'll likely avoid a certain kind of entangled complexity that can be complicated to untangle if you've indulged Venus's impetuous whims. I have one caveat though. If you're involved in an art project or a creative pursuit during this time, it's full steam ahead. Dive in fully and see what emerges. This Venus out of bounds time could be really fruitful, taking you into artful explorations that blow your mind or surprise you in wonderful ways. While Venus is in Sagittarius and out of bounds, allow for some adventurous exploration. And then when Venus moves into Capricorn on November 6th, we'll then shift to bringing some of that creativity into form. When Venus moves out of its peak declination, by the end of December, you may still look back on these projects and wonder what you were thinking, but you might also look back and marvel at the unrestricted brilliance of the whole thing. Well, thanks for listening. Before you go, please hit the like button on your way out. And if you'd like to learn more about Venus Out of Bounds, check out my webinar on the topic, which you can download at astrologyuniversity.com. I'll include the link in the description for you. Well, I hope you make the most of this creative opportunity. And until next time, take good care.